vocabulary assignments, you can get your students learning and completing activities from wherever they are. This video will walk through how to create an assignment for your students on Flocabulary and how to review the results. First, find the lesson that you'd like to assign and click the big blue Assign button on the top. From there, you can select the class or classes that you'd like to include in the assignment. You can also select individual students within a class in order to differentiate your instruction. Once you've selected the classes or students that you'd like for the assignment, you can select which activities you'd like to include. An assignment can include any combination of these six activities for whichever learning objectives you'd like to achieve. For the vocab cards activity, you can customize which of the cards you'd like to assign in one setting. You can also customize the prompt for Lyric Lab. You can optionally choose a due date for the assignment or leave it without one, and you can plan ahead by choosing a visible starting date, which will hide the assignment from students until the given date. If you're a Google Classroom user, you can also choose if you'd like to share the assignment to Google Classroom, which will post it there. When you create the assignment, you can then see all of your active assignments on a lesson and when they start and when they're due. Students can then log into Flocabulary and complete the activities on the Ancient Egypt lesson, and you as the teacher can review their results remotely. To review assignment results, find the class that you assign the assignment to and find the assignment in your list. From there, you can see a high-level overview of how many students submitted each of the activities you included. You can click in for more detail and see what each student scored on each of the activities. If they didn't score as high as you would have liked them to, you can reassign the activity to them, which will open it back up to them while still allowing you to access their previous attempts. You can dive in for even more detail and see what each student answered to each item on the activity with the individual review. You can click in to see what Nathaniel answered on each question for Read and Respond and what he's understanding or not getting. You can also view a comprehension analysis and see how the class did side by side for each activity. This will help you identify common misconceptions, a most common wrong answer, and maybe identify areas where you want to reteach on this topic. So I hope this got you started using vocabulary assignments to engage your students remotely. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to reach out to us at support at nearpod.com. Thanks.